welcome to my bathroom and welcome to the vlog. Um, I already filmed another video today. It's gonna go up on Friday. It's sponsored. I'm so sorry. I'm, it's like a break from Vlogtober, but it, you know, had to do it, had to pay some bills. Just, it's a good video. You should watch it though. Anyway, today we are organizing my bathroom medicine cabinet underneath because it's, it's not, it's not good. So there's four spaces we're gonna organize. Well, three spaces, three spaces really. So first of all, hello, my medicine cabinet. Not too bad. Not too bad, but we're gonna make it look a little more organized. You just have, you know, lots, just tampons and hair stuff and just everywhere. It's not, it's not the best. We've also got my drawers. I have two drawers. I have this top drawer and I have this middle drawer, which is not great. And I also have this under sink area, which is frustrating because first of all, the door is there, so sometimes if you don't close the door, there's a like, oh my god, there's the, 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 the freaking shelves. Anyway, um, it's not the best, right? Because <laughs> only actually only one of these drawer units fits, and it's just not being used efficiently. So we're going to spruce it up a little bit today and make it look really cute. And I'm excited. And I'm going to take you on the journey, and I'm going to just turn the camera on, and I'm going to... Um, not stop filming until it's done. So enjoy. All right, I've got a few organizing things. I've got like this, this guy, <laughs> um, and I have this one. These are for like my, uh, I need to stop saying like, these are for my reusable cotton rounds. And like I put the dirty ones in this one and the clean ones in this one. They're being washed right now. And I think I have another one of these grids under there. So I'm gonna be able to organize that a little better. Oh, I'm gonna go get some command hooks too. I got some ideas. The first thing I'm gonna do is get all the stuff I use every day, like every day and every night, and put that all together and see if I can get it all in the same place. That way I'm not like here, here, here. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm all done. I am super excited. It's so much easier to use now, so I'll show you guys what I did. 
So we'll start with the medicine cabinet. So out here, I got, I just got another one of these from downstairs. This is a candle holder. The other little container had a lid. I was like taking the lid on and off, that's stupid. Clean ones in here, dirty ones in here. Keep it simple, you know, and they're both, they're like identical containers. These were old Bath and Body Works candles. <laughs> this one was London. London Tea and Lemon, that one's so good. Um, so that I just have those there. And then just where I put my jewelry when I take a shower. And that's all that I can handle right there. <laughs> so let's look inside the medicine cabinet, give you some ideas. So we've got little zones here. You guys know I love my zones. We've got face care. This is micellar water, cleanser, toner, lotion, psoriasis medicine. We got our dental area over here. Got the flosser, toothbrush, Listerine, and this is my night guard. And this little glass I use to clean my night guard. <laughs> and then we've got the hair area. I did try to move these shelves. It was a little harder than I anticipated. I, I need a time when I have more patience. I just don't have enough patience. But <laughs> the hair care products are there and they're also up there. There's like a, um, oh, you can hear the flushing upstairs. There's a like brushes here, this olive and honey hydrating balm, which is actually really good. And like the conditioner here, which I put in my hair after I take a shower and wash it. So it's kind of weird. And up there I have just some soap for makeup brushes, a little shaver and some jewelry cleaner. And here is where I have all the products I use every day. I think I can just take this down and put it on the bathroom counter like that and just use things from here. Like Flonase, olive ole, this stuff. I use this every day. So instead of just, you know, having individual products, I'm just gonna take this whole thing, put it up there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And in this drawer, I just put some hair products that I use to, you know, style my hair. So you got scrunchies over here and hair bands over here and then like headbands over here. I did have some extras that I don't wear as often because they're kind of bright colored. I put those in my closet. And then here we've got a little skincare store. This is like my own personal Sephora. Don't judge. I do love a good skincare time, good time. So here's this where I put like samples I get from Sephora, these little like eye patch things and um, masks and stuff and a brush to put my masks on and like exfoliating, but it's just like my spa area, you know, and some uh, iron. <laughs> and down here, instead of command hooks, I was, I remembered I had this thing from the last apartment. I was like, oh, I'll just repur repurchase it. Repurchase it? No. I'll just rep repurpose it to put my hair dryer. I have a little Sephora hair dryer along with some attachments. There's a, a diffuser and other stuff in there. And this is what I use to you know, separate my hair when I style my hair, I divide my hair. And I figured I had this little AMAC box and I'm like, these are perfect to stand these up. These break, by the way, like it, it, these are inevitably gonna break. Um, I hate that I have to keep buying these, but they work and I should just get metal ones, I don't know. And then I just have some extra hair care products. Like these are the backup hair care products. So these aren't open yet. Um, I do have some extra ones in the, in the cabinet as well. However, the cabinet looks so much better now. Even though I can't really put solution on this side that's like this, I figured it out anyway. This is now my like feminine area. And before anyone says anything, I have to use pads and tampons because I have an IUD. I can't use like a menstrual cup. So there it is. I don't know why I should have to say that, but every time I post video of my tampons, <laughs> Someone's like, oh wait, have you tried the, the, the menstrual cup? I'm like, yes, but I can't use that now. Anyway, so here is my stuff. I divided these into absorbencies. So we've got light and then heavy in the back. So, but this is like movable so I can get to the back if I need to. Well, I can just like push this whole thing and like grab, you know, the number fives back there. And um, thought that was pretty cool. I also divided the absorbency of tampons. So we got regular, super, super plus. So I thought that was kind of genius. And then I've got my hair dryer, which hardly ever gets used, but it gets used occasionally. And the Curly Girls bottle of water spray. If you're a Curly Girl, you know, you know. If you know, you know. And in the drawer unit, we've got backup sort of body care. So this is just like body lotions and body care. Actually, this is toner, so this needs to go somewhere else. Anyway, it's like body scrubs and body washes, things that are like backups and then hair products that are kind of backups. And also, oh yep, so we've got the Kinky Curly backup here. And this is, this is I was using this a lot when 
Clover was taking baths to keep the hair from going down the drain, but now I use it personally to keep my hair from doing, going down the drain. So we both use it because we both wash our hair in here now. And then up here, we've got the dental place for all of your dental backup needs. We've got flossing things, mouth guards, and backup toothbrush heads which are cheaper to get them off Amazon. Don't buy the Sonicare toothbrush head. They're so expensive. Oh, and toothpaste. Your girl takes dental hygiene very seriously. My dad was a dentist. It's just, it's a thing, so just let me live. All right, let's find a place for this. This is toner. We can put this a little bit. Can put it right there. It's fine. It's fine. So that's it. Another day, another organizing project. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh. Do you always see Clover? You always, you all always want to see Clover. Let's let's check out, see what Clover's doing. Clover, Clover, where is Clover? Oh wait, no wait, there he is. Clover. Isn't he so precious sleeping? Is he not? I mean, look at that face. Look how hard he's sleeping. Just the most precious thing you've ever seen in your life. Oh my gosh, his eyes are open a little bit though. That's freaky. Oh, let's back away. Back away. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.